This is a Holden Commodore, an Australian car, which is very, very sporty looking. So here, uh, I'm going to be telling you that there is a car which is identical to Holden Commodore. Also, um, if you're uh, like new to this car brand, like it's just a Australian car brand. It's just very new for you. It's not very familiar, like because... Not everyone knows cars, they're not interested, but... And next, so, there's also another copy, it's called the Pontiac G8. And yeah, it's really, it's also real life, it's also very real. Because, you know, in real life, um, there was a car which looks like a Holden Komoda. I think that's the pronunciation, but it sounds like Australian, but... Here, this is the Pontiac G8, but unfortunately for Pontiac, it has discontinued. It has stopped production from 2008 to 2009. It's because uh, I'm gonna be telling you to like at least like five reasons or at least a few reasons. Okay, I'm gonna be telling you a few reasons why this car discontinued. Well, number one, lacking a profit. Pontiac was not profitable in the U.S. all the time. And number two, aging lineup. Pontiac's products lineup was aging and the brand struggled to differentiate itself from the other General Motors offerings. And, and number three, the lack of brand identity. Pontiac lacked a strong brand identity. If you don't know what it means, like, it's so easy to identify that this is a Holden Commodore, but it's an American version of it. Like, by just looking at the headlight, like, don't, uh, let's just ignore the color, just see the shape. They're literally identical, but the grille is different, which is kind of weird, but it's still obvious that this is a copy of a Holden Commodore. And also, the fourth reason, they fail to excite the public. Some models in Pontiac's lineup, such as Aztec, G3, and Solist, Sol, Solist, I think, and they also failed to excite the American publics. That's why they had given the discontinuation of this Pontiac G8. And here, uh, we're going to be seeing the difference between these two cars. So here, um, you see, um, here there's a nice badge. This is the like a lion, I'm pretty sure. It's a lion badge, and here, if you see here, um, this is the red triangle. It's a Pontiac badge. It's American, and inside, uh, let's see about inside. Okay, inside is a right-hand drive. I'm pretty sure Holden Komodo was the first car to be made before Pontiac G8 was made, and here. This is the Holden Holden car interior, and it's a right-hand drive. But in the American version, it is left-hand drive. Yeah, that makes sense because it's American car, and uh, something, and even the steering wheel are identical. Everything in this car are literally identical. But ignore the spoiler, okay? Because Holden is always such a sporty car, and here, even at the back. The back, like the rear, is so identical, bro. That's what I was uh, trying to explain, okay? So that's all for the facts about Pontiac and the Holden Commodore. So that's all.